And I make a motion that I'd like to appoint Mr. Rod, uh, Eugene Stagnolia to the Tri-C Utilities Authority for a period of four years into a vacant position. They don't have a vacant position. Do they? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. we have, we've always had council members in that position. No, Two I, from each city. I can't appoint a council member. Not, that was just the initial takeoff. From this point on, uh, can a council member go ahead and volunteer and we vote on them? Well, sure. That's we why do it was done in the past. Uh, I think no, since I, it I, is a new board, we need to. The mayor must nominate them. I'm sorry, but the mayor must nominate the person for the position. That's not That's what you not, said at the last nice. meeting whenever David and I took on those positions. No, not at that, that time. Volunteer. Well, at that time. So that's the way it it's was. The same thing. No, it's They've not. They've never changed the bylaws. I, when, I've actually when I was read on, When it first stuck, got stuck up, I thought that it had to be council members from Two each from city. Two from each city. No, that's, that's the way it started, it started, but it's not now. Started. It's not well, it's, now. It's, it's, no, the no, council's it's not. the only one that has that control. You no, don't, don't have the control no, to tell no, us who we no, can put no, in there. No, no, no. You're you can appoint, but if they don't get approved, they don't get in. We can nominate someone ourselves. No, you can't then it won't get filled Somebody like can if, you, if you don't want to do it that way. Do you like all to volunteer? All three cities are involved in this. It's not just the city of Cumberland. It's all three cities. And all three cities have council members in those positions. Right. Have you talked with the other ones to see how they feel about going a different route? Have you talked to Damon Talley, the attorney for the... the I've the talked to Damon Talley quite often. But you need to ask him who who nominates the people for the uh, the. Uh, no, you you appoint. We uh, we vote on. It. Okay, let's just move on. Bye. So, so that's. If you want to take a vote, then that's fine. That's weird that we you wouldn't want a council member to serve on it. It's been there for I, years. I, I nominated Eugene Stagg. No, he was on the uh, form formulation board. He was there for the for so the was first it. first so meeting. Was I. And I also remember. You didn't want him on there. You wanted a council member. It was in the paper anymore. because you did not want Mr. Stagnonia on there at that time. You made it prevalent. You did not want him on there. It's who you're mad at. No. Well, I agree. <laughs> 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 now, it's nothing against Blue. It's nothing against Blue, but this is a new board. You should let Mr. Dixon well, continue. Well, I, I nominate Ms. Eugene Stagnonia for uh, membership on a Tri-C YouTube. Make this motion there. Okay. I nominate Mr. Eugene Stagnolia for appointment okay. to the Tri City Utility Authority. You can't, you can't make a motion. I nominate him. You can't nominate him to appoint him. Yeah, you can't nominate him. Okay, I appoint Eugene Stagnolia to a four year term as a member of the Tri City Utility Authority. That just shows you're going against what the council wants. Can I have a roll call? Nah, let's move on, okay. Okay, that's all I have. We have we anybody in the audience? The we anybody? have to fill the position we because according to this letter, my term ended about a month before it was supposed to. So. Yeah. Now, your first appointment didn't go through, so what do you want to do now? Uh, I, I would personally to like to stay on the board. I'd like to the, think about it. The you board said you're you have said on. The board changed their meeting time because in December you were complaining you're, you're, because I couldn't be there. So they changed their meeting time. I'm sorry, I'll meetings. have to I'll have to take more time to think about it. That's the way you do everything. That's what's wrong. But somebody that's been on there two years, it's gotten all into the workings of it and stuff. Shame. I don't know why we wouldn't do that again. Okay, we'll move on to. Uh, I guess council comments. Uh, council comments now. We're getting more guest speakers. Did we? Uh, no, that's uh, council comments. We have to catch what's on the agenda, okay? Uh, Yvonne, did you have anything you want to bring up? Uh, the building up here that's tore down, I noticed he moved his equipment. Is he still 
Stop working right there in that no, he's he was here today. He's, he, he got slowed down, but he's. Uh, the buildings over here behind. Uh, I would really like to see the, these addressed. I mean, there's just a lot of sore eyes and camera. This uh, the old laundromat and the old bus station is a real danger to mm -hmm. the public or anything. Anybody going in and out there? I wonder what we could get done with that with the blinded building. Should be able to take care of it. And who owns that right now? Tell you who owns it. Who is it? Who? Bill Scott. Who? Bill Scott. Oh, Bill Scott. Not the not the bus station. No, the laundromat. The laundromat. Bill Scott owns that. And, and then the, the building behind it too, the big two store used to be. He's from Harlem. Um, he needs to be notified. That needs to be torn down. Yeah. That's right. falling down. Yeah. What was that bus station? And I don't know if you're aware, but I'm making another guess. That's the Maynard's building. I know it. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Who owns that building? Who owns that old bus station building? He's from Harlem. We had to look at the taxes up for somebody a while back. I can't remember his name. We can call the PVA and find out. Uh, that's all I had. Okay. Mr. Jarvis, you have anything? Yes. Uh, I, I guess left off whole business maybe for a purpose. I don't know. But anyway, I'd like to bring up Mr. Uh, John Dixon's problems with his run yeah. and his condition, and it was stated in our last meeting that we had that that's, it was just something that was really had to be looked into. Yeah. And I think uh, Mr. Dixon should have the uh, opportunity to tell you what all that he has. Mm -hmm. And I think the council should make a determination tonight as what to be done. Okay, go ahead, John. I addressed the council and the mayor on January 21st, 2013, by letter to all the council people, I believe, mm -hmm. y'all received it. Mm -hmm. Dear Mayor Hatfield and City Council members, on behalf of myself and my neighbors, I respectfully solicit your interest and support and again, in timely repairs to Stacy Drive. As you may or may not be aware, there are at least five households affected by this severe disrepair failure of this street, which is in the city of Cumberland. This city street, I've told been up there, I know. Are you yes. Yes. Got to talk to that too. In order to, be, to more effectively display the urgency of this situation, I have taken the liberty of attaching maps, photos, revealing the area of critical concern. It is easily apparent from the attachments while the failure of the street bed would be troubling inconvenience to myself and my family would most likely be catastrophic for my neighbors just and above and below the deteriorating section of Stacy Drive. Needless to say, this, this is a critical concern to us. With that in mind, we have no reason to believe this governmental body thinks otherwise. Therefore, we ask priority consideration required to evaluate this issue to talk soon on your list of critical items to be addressed. I look forward to working you to working as a team with mayor and the council members in order to eliminate this grave concern. I just ask that y'all would act on it before it falls off and then we got a major. And I believe most of you know how bad it is. On the left, and I've got, I can pass this round if you don't have it. We don't have some. Everybody, yeah. Is everybody yeah. saying it? We got it. Yes, we did. Okay. Yes. I like wish y'all could act on it tonight and do about. something. You know, we just say, know. John, I'm not going to do nothing. But say, John, we're going to fix it. That's all I ask. Mr. Dixon, you know? on, on our April 9th meeting, yeah. if, if I can interrupt just for a second. Mr. Jarvis did bring up your issue, mm -hmm. and he made a motion at that time that the city contact Leo Miller for road yeah. estimate, and Mr. Raleigh seconded that. Yeah. So I don't know what's happened with that since then. But we then. did make a motion. We have, act we have acted on that. We did so our part. Okay. Yeah, so we need to see what's happened so as a result of that. We tried to do that. Yeah. We agreed. We sure did. Yeah. 
I've showed you the maps, just everything. A, I just, just ask them, you know, to come and look at it. And yeah. Yeah. Any, any, any of y'all are welcome to come up there and look at it. And yeah. Rob. Yeah. I rode by and looked at it. That's all. Was yeah. Robin, good. have we done yeah. that? Yeah. From that meeting, have you contacted Mr. Miller? Or? We mentioned it, but I'm not sure if he done it or not. Because that's when he's working on the building up here, too. And see if he can look at it and give us a quote as to what it will cost. But, but we sure did, Mr. Dixon. I want that, you to know that. That fellow that, you know, yeah. we went up and looked at it with that guy from the construction firm from yes. Wallens. He said what? He said 15000 or 10000 He told me ten. he told you fifteen. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I won't lie. Okay. He told the city come on 15. So well, we, he told me we, we get three we'll get bids. We'll get some more people. We'll, 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 we'll get some bids on it. But right now, John, we need to buy a route with more. Yeah. Right now, though, uh, let me interject the uh, funding thing. Right now, all of our money is going to the water plant. Mm -hmm. and I mean, MRA money, the LGEA money, and the coal severance tax money is going in to pay for the water plant improvements. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and the bond issues, but as soon as we can get the money for it, uh, what, what time frame are we looking at? Uh, right now, uh, if yeah, but we already got the debts of, for CL Boggs and those people for. Uh, right now, we don't even have enough money to cover the payroll this Friday. It may not wait till then. Though. What time frame? Regardless of your money, the fall. The fall. It, 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 uh, I, I'm uh, you're right, Ron. Yes. You're, it, it, you're right, because the money is going to have to be there. I hope it lasts that long. And I don't know if the money <laughs> will be there because I hope it lasts that long. I hope it lasts that long. You know what I'm saying? He needs drive the yeah. yeah. That's why we asked for Mr. Miller to right. look at it, okay. so we would know yeah. how urgent and what, yeah. what it would take. An engineer would not have to do with it. I'm not an engineer. and Yes, sir. I understand. Could we ask Mr. Miller to investigate and see what all it entails? Then we can make a logical decision. As we can we even put it, it out for bids uh, to get some guys to look at it. No, I'm not talking about to look at it. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the actual yeah. work if it came down. Yeah. To now we'll, we can uh, we can contact so Miller and have him go up there and see something. what it says and then big. All I ask to do something. So he can if it falls off, it's going to be. Well, he can tell uh, us how be a major. serious it is. It will be. Yeah. As, as far as caring better, about it, I care. It, I care seriously about getting things done right away. But mm -hmm. it, it seems like we're fighting a losing battle most of the time. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. But, uh, but we sure did. We talked about it. But it's yeah, definitely on the agenda to fix, right? Yes. I knew we. Priority yeah. one. Yeah. After the water plant. Well, the water plant's going to be something that never I ended. understand what he's saying, but that's know. not the only money out there. And every you piece should have road funds money out there, I believe. They, we do, yes, but we they keep getting dipped into it. It's been used for something else. You're using it for something else? Yeah. Yeah. Without our yeah. Without to our get proof. water. Get Without water in the houses, yeah. <laughs> okay. Without our okay. That really makes me feel great. <laughs> but don't make I understand. I understand. I'm not a hard person. But I appreciate y'all. See, we have Thank this you big, for big nest egg called General Fund. Okay. Every kind, every, all the money's going to the General Fund. Yes, sir, I know that. And if you're 12 years old, you can manipulate money any way you want to <laughs> to make the budget come out okay. the way it should be. When should I check back with you? Well, um, we may know something if by him looking at it. By next month, I'm not by sure. It would depend by next month. It would, next depend, month. it would depend on Mr. Miller's schedule. Okay. I don't know his schedule. Check with or Robin or yeah. the mayor. Check with Robin, yeah. Just check with Robin or okay. the mayor. I just think know something definite. I, I would love start to slip and I got to do something. I'm saying that's where I'm. Well, once it falls off, then we went from a situation yeah. to a repair of a simple, not simple, but a, a, a less Could costly situation mm -hmm. to a major situation. I don't want it to lead to that either, so you I hope Mr. Yeah. Miller... You don't want it to be like Black Mountain up there where no. they're patching no. and it keeps falling. Right. Just, so hey, you need when it does, then you roll to see what's down, going then on. you lose Miss Gibson's house, yeah. and then you lose the three neighbors' house down here below me. Mm. And We lost the house right over here. Yes, sir. To a road slippage, and really that never that. got fixed either. They I don't want to wait on emergency funds to fall off. And the worst thing could happen, they could be dead. That's right. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, y'all. 
the, yes. the range that we and get in the nail. Murray uh, there's they a lot of kids. They make a motion you know, If you go through Bill Avenue, there's a lot of kids. Do you want us to make a motion for it? We, we did back on April 1. Oh, we already did. Okay. We did. Let me go back and check my notes. Thank you all. Thank everyone. Thank you. We, we, thank you we, pre we appreciate you coming. Is that all you had, Brian? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I made a motion thank that day. Miss Elliott, would you? Uh, uh, I had somebody to call me and said that we've got the men out working when it's pouring down rain with no raincoats. So I said I would bring that up, and they said we could get a $5 raincoat to put on. They've got raincoats somewhere. They, uh, they've they got raincoats. I don't know why they would be out without them. Uh, they I'm do sorry. Have raincoats. They do when have raincoats. They they they've have had them. They've, they've had them. Uh, uh, they got raincoats, the uh, safety gear. I haven't saw anybody out in a raincoat either. I started noticing uh, that. Well, I'll check. I'll check uh, tomorrow, first thing, see where they're at. Uh, and also, uh, I got a call from uh, Loretta Cornett last night. She was highly upset because there has been a mattress and a love seat thrown on her property up here in town. Wayne, did you handle that today? Yes, sir, I did. Oh, is it gone? No, it was still there when I got there, but I did talk to Paul and uh, Loretta. Do you know, you don't have to say who, but do you know who did dump it? We thought we did. We went and checked the person, I will say, the mm -hmm. person that we thought was of great interest to us. They didn't do it. Okay. We had a witness that it just appeared out of a truck somewhere. And nobody just appeared. Died. Somebody up <laughs> just, just appeared. right there on the back of the property. Didn't we, didn't we, we went crazy. The mattress I, I'm sure it didn't come from there. And it didn't come and from the place. And on the Facebook, it looked like a pretty good from. mattress. Somebody we brought in there and took a truck and throw it out because two people that don't have any. Anything to do with it? Told us it Are there not any surveillance cameras or anything set up towards that way or anything? Not, not that you can catch them. Uh, the Wolfhawks has got some, but apparently they don't really end up really being. I, I they guess come another in question for me is, way is, way. It is it's not Mrs. Cornett's problem to get rid of it since it was dumped there on the property, so right. why can't we do something about it? Oh, they'd pick it up on their garbage day. It, they, we would pick it up ourselves. Uh, I was unaware of it until this morning, yeah. but I didn't go yeah. talk to them. Okay. And I sure don't, by the way, that we will pick it up sometime. Is that correct? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. When, when they, that, and then the other things I had said on here talking. was uh, no collection from the privilege licenses or the landlord licenses. Is there anything else we're not getting paid for that we should be doing? That the, we need the lawyer to look in to see how we can collect those monies. Anything that's delinquent or. Is there anything else you think of, Robin? Mm -hmm. so do, we, do we have somebody to Do we need to make a motion for him to do that? Or just oh, no. Uh, Wayne, when, when will you be checking for privilege license? Whatever y'all give me a list on. And That's June? Yeah. Uh, uh, so June, so okay. So uh, that's how we normally handle it. And they're due always in July. Uh -huh. June. Yeah. They're June. good till June 30th. June 30th, yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you got the list ready? They're, 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 they're June 30th. Oh, now, the landlords have never been paid, 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 so y'all need to give him that ordinance, Rob. That landlord ordinance. get after that one. Do we send out bills on these? Yeah, we send out uh, notices. Yeah, for landlord. Yeah, no, not landlord. Yeah, we they they see all rental equipment, all rental houses have to be registered by the landlords. If it's a rental property, it has to be registered, and uh, they are not registering the properties. They have to come in and do it on their own. But uh, we'll have to, Wayne. That'll be another one of your functions. You'll have to. Make the people that's got the rental properties come in and register them, and and they have to be uh, so that we'll know who to contact and who to send the tax bills to. Uh, that was part of the ordinance that was kind of thrown aside here Council last year. If well, that's a tax bill, should it's, 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 it's not a tax bill. That's a tax bill. It's not a tax bill. That's what we said, but it, it's like a privilege license. According to how many houses they have, they're supposed to be paying, but they've never been paying. It. How is Wayne supposed to know who's got rental properties? Yeah, I'm supposed yeah. to have well, obtain this list. That's about yeah. <laughs> my Are you yeah. supposed to just ride by and go? You want this house? Somebody's going to lead me in the right direction. You know, One of the procedures to follow, we would need to advertise, let those people know that's got, that, that are renting houses 
to come in and register those houses. And I think we put a, if you have, if it's a family type of fair, we were trying to keep it five houses above. That's considered to be rental houses. No, it wasn't five houses. But, it was one house. Okay. It was something else. We, no, it's Whatever it is, it's in the ordinance. It's in the ordinance. And, uh, yeah, it's in the ordinance. But, but we need to publicize the ordinance and tell them to come in and register the houses that are for rent. And then if they rent a house that's not registered, uh, that's a penalty right there. That's where they can find, be fined. Well, may I ask a question? Do not these people that's living in these homes have to have water? Mm -hmm. Are they not coming in and signing but up for water and yeah. mm -hmm. sewer? Yeah, most they of them. do not know, realize that they don't live in a house, that they're brand new. Well, well that was the biggest the problem we had in, in delinquent water accounts at one you time. People moving in and out of houses and not closing out the water account, but just paying the other person that's leaving you, the amount of the, the money. still wouldn't know if they owned the That's what I was getting to say. I could have bought a house yeah. and just walked in here and told you to turn my water on it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't rent. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I mean, it, there's such a thing as saying, are you renting, are you, yeah. did you buy it? And I'm probably saying You're right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just turn the water on. <laughs> Ain't no you business. <laughs> just turn the water on. Water on. <laughs> if you oh, make a law, I'm sorry, a law is to be carried. A law is to be followed, isn't it? Why well, have it? That's the thing, is honesty Mark it off. landlords, but I mean, you know, it's... That's the thing, is just trying to get people to do it. Okay, is there anything else? I don't know how you do it. That's all I have, thank you. Mine is, uh, I want to know why the employees can't take a sick day or vacation day when they request it. I mean, it, the manual it says that they can, uh, if they miss more than three days, they've got to have a doctor's excuse. They don't say for one day you want to go make them get an excuse. They earn these days. You should be letting them take them when they when they need them. Not everybody can afford to run to the doctor because they've got an upset stomach or a bad headache. That, that's that's why they have a sick day, and a lot of them weren't being allowed to do that or be made to take a vacation day instead of a sick day. I mean, why why would you do that? Uh, I, I don't know who you're talking about. Every employee. Everybody. Oh my God! I didn't know that. No, no. Oh, you would have to know it because you have to sign off or deny. It. Well, I mean, why don't you just give them the days when they need them? Like if well, they get subpoenaed to court, like me, yeah, I got subpoenaed to court and didn't get paid for. It. Don't want to. It's it's right. the ordinance. It says right in the ordinance to, they can they take. They don't them. have to pay you, but they do have to give you a vacation day, and I'm not dead. Well, couldn't you have asked for a vacation day instead of letting me come I down? Did, and you denied Went after the fact. I mean, you. Let me try to explain this. Either way, we we furloughed five people during the same week that you were gone for that. You were off that day. You didn't come to work. Okay. So why why would I pay you for taking off without even asking for a vacation day and then not pay these other guys that we furloughed because we don't have enough money in the payroll account to make this Friday's payroll. If you're subpoenaed to court, I don't think you've got an option to be There's there. No, you don't have an option. No, you got to go. Or go to but, jail. But, but I mean, but why yeah, should but the city cut, have to pay him if he don't sorry. come in and ask for a There's vacation? There's no ordinance that says that or it says he can take a vacation day unless you oh. rewrite that ordinance. You pay the man. But uh, he should have. He should have asked for a vacation he day. Did ask did. After the fact. No, before. Before. no, he did not ask. Yes, he did. No, 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 I'm not arguing with anybody here tonight. What do you want to do? You want to pay the man? Yes. What yes, about the yes. other people I furloughed in? You well, furloughed, you furloughed, you furloughed them out of spot, well, not because it's saving the city money. Uh, Gary should be paid. The others that's furloughed that. should not be paid because they just didn't work that day. Because they didn't We're work that day. That that day. We're not we're not discussing the other employees. We're discussing him. I make a motion that Gary should be paid, paid for that vacation day. I'll second that motion. There you go. Vacation day. A vacation day, right? Vacation. It's according to what the ordinance says. Thank y'all for doing that. But Gary, please ask for a vacation before the day before it takes place. You've got to give a two-day notice, and, and I, give you, I told you three weeks before that's going to be off. But you didn't tell me what day you were going to be off. How am I supposed to remember that? Okay, Gary, I don't, okay, okay, you're getting paid for it. But now, if from this point on, if you're going to leave, the, you're the supervisor down there, and I didn't even know you were gone that day. 
I'll refund it to my supervisor. Okay. One that's over me, and I told you to. Uh, what, two weeks? Uh, would you, uh, we, we have a motion and a second on the floor. Uh, uh, have a roll call vote. Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, 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 what did you ask Javon? He said vacation request forms. That'd be a good thing. We, we, have, got, we got the form. We, we got the we form. Have, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right, everybody's got, got that it. one, so. The next thing is, when is that building going to be cleaned up up there that they've been working on for a month and a half? Which one? They just tore down? Yeah. Uh, he's working on it. I can't tell. Well, the EPA got involved in that, so what has been, do you know what happened? I don't there? know. I, Did I, it get I, inspected or something? I don't know. He didn't know. even have his equipment up there. No. I, don't know. I, I really don't I know. know. I mean, cleaned up by that's the not a city project, mm -hmm. but I... We have city personnel out there working on it. Sweeping up the sidewalks, getting exposed to the asbestos and lead paint on that building without it being inspected. Well, that was when the, the day they tore it down when it. Oh, that okay. Been okay. Totally okay. 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 I got pictures of our employees standing right there in front of it. Yeah. Why it's being torn down. Well, I saw it now on eyes. I didn't picture it. It's in my head. And the Estel Maynard's building, you know, I don't, somebody I don't might want to let question. it know it's falling in. The roof has fell from the third floor down to the first floor. He knows about it. Uh, it's another one that'll fall out of the city and could hurt somebody or kill them. Wayne will tell you, good wind will take them down. If he knows about it, what action is going to be taken? Planning his own body buildings. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to get to the... We need a the property owner. review committee is what we need. That's the committee, three people, that says this, this property is is uh, condemned and action must be taken. That gives you the authority to... Get to go to court with him. So, so the plan second zone and body buildings can't do that? They we don't have to condemn it? No. We, don't, we need a property review well, committee. I'll just be honest with you. We, we're committed in Orton's to death. It, yeah. We are. And we're yeah. not even following through with what we've got. You're right. That's right. We'll do so why should we make that, a new one? Yeah. Yeah. Create another one. We've yeah. got ordinances just to enforce them. Yeah. yeah. Enforce Either clean it up or else. We got to. We'll seize the property yeah. and do it ourselves. Yeah. Take it. We got a lawyer. We're getting yeah, that is <laughs> That's what we got him for. <laughs> yeah, but to answer your question, I don't know when he's going to get with. Is that all you got, Charles? Yeah. Let's say you have a. Uh, the bad thing about sitting this far down on the end of the table is a lot of things I have has already been addressed. So thank y'all. Okay, I pass. Okay, baby. I just have a couple of things. Um. Obviously, throughout town, we have a lot of property that is owned by the the Army Corps of Engineers, <laughs> and they're grown up. And like one, for instance, there's one property near my house, and I'm afraid I'm going to be eat up by snakes, and my neighbors are going to be eat up by snakes. And near Main Street, there's a dentist building that's being overrun by weeds and Whose responsibility is it to cut that? The Army Corps, the city? Do we need to send somebody a nuisance ordinance? Because I'd rather well, not be overran uh, that, by weeds and stuff. That lot there is belongs to the Corps of Engineers. They haven't turned it over to the city yet. Now, I wish they'd turn it over to the city, then we'd maintain it. But, but actually, we should maintain it anyway because it will eventually be city property. It can't be anything else but, but city property. I mean, it's well, to it's, the point. I mean, once well, they're, when once I say they're done, once they're done with it. Okay, I agree with you. You're right. But we haven't got the deed and titles to I it. I understand that. But, uh, yeah. okay. but I'm like you. I do think that we should go ahead and cut it. Yeah. yeah. Clean it because it just looks bad. And it, it'll eventually wind up hours anyway when they're done with it. And there's also city property over in my neighborhood where the grass... It's been cleared near the bridge after I called down here after I was almost hit head on by somebody coming around the curve, but there's grass all around that back street. I guess it's considered part of Wood Street. It really don't have a name. Behind the old Creech garage that needs cut because there's kids in the neighborhood. That's another building that needs to be. And there's, I mean, people are dumping stuff back there. I did notice somebody put no dumping signs up. I guess that might have been the city. Yeah. And we've had problems with that for a few years, even when Mayor Cornett was in. But those are just some things. I noticed that they cut grass and things everywhere else, so I thought they might want to visit lower Fairview since I've not seen them overdoing anything. 
And I was also wondering about this uh, privacy fence up at the maintenance yard. What is that for? Where did it come from? Well, the tourist commission gave it to the city, and I had intended to put it up around our maintenance building up there, uh, the front of it, as far as it would go, to block the uh, garbage trucks and things from public view. Uh, I think there's enough fencing there to go from the maintenance building around to the back, almost to the back street, or maybe enough to cover it all. And it's it's good fencing. It's uh, it's, but it wouldn't block the view of all uh, that. That would be good because I think we'd voted on that years past of having mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it probably, it'll probably yeah. cover about five, uh, about four and a half foot tall. What happened was they got that it was accidentally cut off too short and they couldn't use it over to the park. And then. We have that garbage truck that's sitting up there deteriorated. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good truck. We need about $6,000 if we could ever save it to fix it, put it up. We could get $8,000 for it if we sold it right now, but if we fixed it, we could get thirty-five dollars or $40,000 for it. So we need to do something with it before it gets in awkward. We decided to fix it. Trucks are picking up garbage mounds to the child. I don't know what to do on our three days of the next if you're sick. I think he's getting up and leaving. I'm trying to just talk. That's what I want to do. Yeah, well, we'll get it and walk out when he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Double dog <laughs> That would be funny. So just go ahead and keep talking. Oh, <laughs> talk. See you next month. Yeah, just keep on. Until he's moving. Two garbage trucks. Two garbage trucks. Two garbage trucks. Two garbage I've also received phone calls wanting to know, we just purchased a new garbage truck September, October, I think it was delivered in November. Um, why there's two of the city pickup trucks picking up garbage in the Springfield section instead of the garbage the packer? It's all over the city. I mean, it's a waste of gas, extra labor. They, uh, we, 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 set these dumpsters out in certain locations, okay? The garbage, the pickups haul the garbage to the dumpsters and the garbage packer goes to the dumpsters and picks those up so that the pickups don't have to run all the way from the bottom of River Road back to the maintenance building to dump the garbage that they pick up on River Road when they could take it down to right outside the sewer plant and dump it right there. Then the garbage packer will go down and pick it up. Uh, <coughs> But that's extra manpower. No, it's not. You said River Wire Road. Tire. It's happening everywhere. Well, I know oh. we've got the dumpsters. We got them one in Springfield. Right. We, how, uh, how does that warrant paying four men and two pickup trucks? And then you still got the three men riding around in the garbage truck. Four, four men and two pickup trucks and one section no. picking up garbage. How many people works in maintenance department? Eight. Seven now. We have four Two people eight. working in water and sewer and eight in the maintenance. That's just don't add up. We need to switch some of those from the maintenance. Over no, you, the you got you got seven people in water and sewer, and you got uh, uh, you got uh, eight police officers, and you got eight people in maintenance. Seven people so in maintenance. People in water and sewer. You got yeah. the garbage truck with three men. They should take care of all the garbage. We don't need pickups up using extra gas and labor to do that. I would say your maintenance department should be your six men. I, I would think that would that would help with payroll. Well, what the maintenance department really doesn't have six men. They got uh, two per, two part time employees and uh, four other employees. We don't have any part time employees in the building. No, no, no but we got them on the board. We we hiring part time people though. Well, you may be hiring, okay. but they're not in our policy yeah. manual. They're yeah. not in our ordinance. Yeah. Yes, they are too. Yes, no. show me. I, 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 that, 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 you got you got different categories of employees. You got a case. You got seasonal, part time, and and regular. Uh, that's the positions in it, it's in the personnel. I wish you'd show me where we have those positions in our booth. I appreciate it. We're, we're talking about saving money. But anyway, money we're trying city. to save money. We don't need that yeah. many employees. We do not You're need saving. four workers <clears throat> driving two trucks to 
pick up garbage in one section. And then three on the garbage truck, all at the same time. I, mean, I don't have the figures here in front of me. But we need to save money, yeah. and that's not done. Yeah. That's just why, why borrow the garbage truck. Uh, if, if you laid off, if you laid off three uh, people, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Thompson. If you lay off three people, wouldn't that compensate them as, as far as unemployment money goes? If you're going to cut their hours anyway. And, and if you're going to cut their hours anyway, why not pay them unemployment? Lay off three people. We got too many anyway. You tell me where to lay them off at. <laughs> you, hey, you want to save time, save money, and. Yeah, I, just, think, I think the maintenance department is overloaded. I okay. Don't see where you could actually do anything else with the water department? They're cut back. What does the police department have? I laid. I laid off. Uh, okay, let's laid off one man from the place of the maintenance department. Uh, laid him off. When would it? Yesterday. When did, when did he come in and get his check? It was, yes, was Monday. Laid off or Monday. terminated? He was, he was terminated. Okay. Right, terminated. We lay then, off people. And then we got unfairly. two part-time employees, and that is a legal legal uh, employee, the part-time. That's people that you don't have to pay the hospital insurance and the vacation and holiday pays. Yeah, but that's money spent that we do not have to spend. Period. But you need the manpower, and they like garbage pickup Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We have okay. What do you want to do? You got the majority of the council here. You're the money maker. You're the money. Tell me what you want. Hey, I'm here to. Agree. I agree with you. I would like to see three employees laid off, not fired, but laid off, so that they can draw unemployment. Okay, give me what the names. What getting at is the three which, what, who you want? The three most junior people? I don't think we are. Junior people. Yeah, I don't We're think in what department? I don't think we should no. say here. I would say the, uh, right now, in name names. I agree. Oh, no. no, they don't have to name names. Just tell me the number you want to lay down. No, I, you know it. I'm sorry. It, it'll, be the, the most it'll be the junior. Right. Who you want laid off? I'd like to see the uh, maintenance partner, uh, department be thinned out. Three people off? Yes. There's the two gone as of today, weren't they? One yesterday, one today. Yeah. So you already had one go? Last three this week. Oh, well. Yeah, How many do you currently? How many does that leave in the maintenance department, okay. including the supervisor? You got the supervisor, Hall, Creech. Yeah, don't. No, he said he's, how many we have. What was it? Oh, I got six. There's just six now, aren't there? Six. There's so six in maintenance right now. You only have six right now. He said there's just yeah. six now. So you went from the maintenance. Well, two of them's gone this week. Oh, okay. he said there's just six now. So you got to report it to Oh, you got two rid of two this week? Yeah. But you still have part time employees? Yeah. Yeah. Lay those off. I see what part time we got left is, is Garvey. But I mean, he works for both places. So he's not really part time? He works water and maintenance. Uh, he has three meters. I believe y'all should think about who you, uh, this before uh, you make any. Uh, Why don't you look it over and let us know by the next council meeting yeah. how we can thin it down, so down too. that will benefit well, saving could, money without doing these rate increases. You know, I, we, we give you all of those authorized positions and the names of the employees and their salaries several times. Yeah, yeah I have that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so take look at that. It, it's got their date of hire. Mm -hmm. Just pick out the you sheets. Know. It's on the back of the budget thing. You can take off two out of maintenance off of that. Yeah. Well, we're having the name names. No, but I'm no. saying there's two of them gone. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can. So in maintenance, you can minus two employees. In the police department, we uh, we've got eight 
Right seven. now. Hey. The city just paying for seven. We got one man that's free. We, we can't get rid of him. We don't want to lose his grant. I've got about eight thousand dollars to go down. And that's one man over at the office. We, we didn't have all. We didn't have positions for him. We we just can't. We can't afford it right now. But we got six funded, and one is paid for by the state, and we got one extra man. Plus, we've got two in the academy. We didn't have two in the academy at the same time. So we, it's, we've got to put these in the academy. It's, it's nothing them. personal. It's just that we don't but have positions you, for eight. We've got to put them in the academy. We've got no choice. If you don't, we lose the club fund, the funding. We lose everything in the police department to work for. You've got to rotate them and you've got to go to the academy. We don't have to have eight. Hey, hey. You don't have eight, really. Hmm. We have You've got one free, we've got one in the cab. We'll fix it. We'll make me have a copy of this thing right here. Like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where's the... No, 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 I'm, the the I'm on my box. I'm on my box. Ten minutes. I'll get it to you. No, I am. We've never operated in this. No, who got these dogs? Who got permanent? I don't know. Tell us who it is. Can you see? Here, I'll okay. write it down again. I'll write show it down again. I'll just write it down again. Yeah, because this yeah. one shows eight. Uh, yeah. Let me just show you. There, here it is, Carl. Yeah, there it is. If you just want mark okay. them or put your little mark beside of it, or like who got who is not there any longer. Two, three, four, five, Davis, I, I forgot. Oh, I forgot <laughs> a minute ago when I named them. There's seven. We yeah, got them seven. Too. So there is but seven. Seven. But we authorized ten. Have we had ten this year? No, we no. don't need ten. That's too many. We don't need. Uh, uh, there's a police department. Uh, you know, they. Here is the, there he is. He sort of floats around and he's a part-timer. If okay. we have six, that one is. Okay. Have six he works a couple of days a week at, at water and then up here, but he's just part-time. Huh? And if you happen to furlough, so you, you just don't hire back. Yeah, I mean, if you're having to furlough people, you're, you're hurting everybody when you can just... Most of those will tell you that it's their hours good. They no. have to be unemployed. Well, furlough, when, when you furlough a person, you're, what you're doing is taking that emergency emergency temporary measure to cover your payroll. Because right now, if you wanted me to pay the payroll, we'd be uh, issuing delinquent checks. Because we got, I'll just tell you, we got $19,000 in the bank. The payroll is normally about 25 or 26, and I just had to send out a request for a cogulant for the water plant for $6,000. So right now, uh, our biggest problem is though a lot of this has been some of this Thank is from for over hiring. We we never had eight police officers before. We never had all this maintenance, and, we, and we've got to slow down. Well, all this maintenance is essential uh, maintenance. Overtime too. No way. No. I'm